Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be reading about a vacuous entity called the Terminus. This is an enigmatic entity, and the document that I have for it looks more like a monologuing story than an actual entity document. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And let's get right into this. I remember the moment I fell from the world. Too foolish to understand what I've ever assigned myself to as the inky atmosphere swallowed me whole. Time was meaningless. I continued to fall, but the sensation of such was absent. No air, no hunger, nor thirst played egged me. I imagined that at a later time something would end this misery, but the growing pit pushed against us the growing pit inside pushed against this notion. For the first time in this hell, my eyes settled upon a faint light. Spirals of luminescence circled around its radius and reached far out into the void. This is where my memory fell slightly. From this point on, all I can recall is the deafening cacophony of a sort of eldritch gale and the oppressive force pulling me towards itself. When I woke up, I saw it, this figure that stood thrice my height. Its flesh melted into the world itself, constantly shifting it around as its intricate horrific cadence. In stark contrast, its hands were like a sort of fleshy marble and appeared delicate. The eye. Oh lord, the eye. I've never experienced any sort of mental evisceration, if I can even refer it to as such. In my entire life, I felt as if I lived through a million lives, each with so many intricate things and trillions of thoughts and feelings that I could not recall if I had an, an et eternity to do so. The sheer magnitude of despair inflicted on me was something never meant for mortals to bear. By the time the visions had finally left me to my own devices, I realized I could no longer feel my own body. My senses stopped entirely. What did I do to deserve this? With the infinite embrace of the void, it had been an easier fate to endure. Every so often, I worry if I'm over dramatizing this. However, when the warmth returned to my bones, I was able to uh, stop the sobs that struck my core. To this day, I haven't left the haven of the Cygnus Archive. I was saved. For what reason? I'll never know. All the faces I have seen haunt me. The faces I see here resemble them too much. I shudder non-stop when they look upon my form and grimace. My flesh feels different. Loose-fitting, perhaps. I fear I have fallen victim to my own paranoia and delirium. I have changed. Suffice to say, there is no more joy in this life. I cannot express enough that what is about to say is not, to be, is not meant to be taken in a defeatist manner. Do not try to escape the backgrounds. Quite frankly, there is nothing out there except the domain of this being to stumble into oh, with your existence for or, or fit it in. This cruel labyrinth is for now and forever your home. Just as it is mine. I pray every sleeping cycle that I never have to see this thing again. What I experience is nothing I'd ever wreck upon anyone, not even my own worst enemy. Auto anecdotal, I know for certain that this particular breed of dread is not entirely my, my doing. This being emanates a sort of force that strikes reference into beings in its presence. To the reader who has gone thus far, I want to thank you for the time I've spent here. I've taken an affinity for painting. 
Here is my rendition of the being that plagues my nightmares, the terminus, the end, the beginning, and perhaps beyond. I am for certain this is his name. I clearly remember his name from the moment I woke up, and for all intents and purposes, you should know it too. And this is the terminus. Apparently a creature that I'm guessing will sometimes appear to those who fall into the void when they're trying to escape the back rooms. And of course, doing so will actually lead you to who seen this creature. So if you ever think that you will ever escape the back rooms, think again. Once you're there, you're stuck forever, and it appears that the terminus makes sure of that. Anyway, if you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!